Hey friends, here we are back at the microscope again. I think this is a sign of spring. We found some spider egg cases out in our sunroom. And so today what I'm going to do is take a look inside and see if there's anything exciting inside the sack. And I've actually got two of them. So here's one. And let's show you the other one. Yeah, these are, these are, have been sitting there all winter long and they're full of debris and dead bugs and things like that. So our job is to liberate any entrapped spiders in there. We'll see if there are any. So these do look like Parasteatoda egg cases. And uh, I was just reading about how spiders overwinter. And one of the things that could be going on is they uh, they will lay a batch of eggs in the fall <coughs> and then they'll just leave them there for the winter and presumably they go into diapause and what may happen is they will develop early in the f in the winter or late in the fall and you'll have little baby spiders in here and they just sort of wait for the weather to warm up Alternatively, I'm going to open this up. There's going to be a bunch of spider eggs. Also, alternatively, maybe it'll all be dead. But we'll see. So here we go. Forceps poised. Let's try not to hurt anybody. Okay. Is anybody in there? I'm trying to do this delicately because what I want to do is just peel it open a little bit, see who's inside, and then put it in the incubator and let them develop some more. Just trying to see if this is a waste of my time. Ooh, I see molted cuticles in there. All that white stuff. Do I see spiders? There are hints of spiders. Okay, let's take a moment and just look a little more carefully here. It's complicated. I see evidence of spider links. That's all we can ask for. I'm not seeing any movement, but then uh, I just rescued these from the outdoors maybe a half hour ago. So they were sitting at about 10 degrees centigrade, which is not a real comfortable temperature for spiders. So they could be trying to wake up. And they're not quite ready for it yet. Kind of like when your alarm goes off at 6 a.m. and the bedroom is all cold. Who wants to get out of bed then? Okay, I'm just, I've just pushed everything out of the field of view. Let me. Yeah, one of the tricky things about opening up these egg cases is all the spider webbing around. It's all sticky. As you can sort of see, over the winter, these guys accumulated a little cloud of 
chunk, every bit of dust, every little scrap that blew their way, it just settled in and made a home and bugs tried to come by. I think this must also be kind of defensive because there's dead bugs all over around here. I'm feeling kind of klutzy. I'm opening this up more than I wanted to because I'm still trying to get clear evidence of what's in here. Okay, so these white things are familiar. So that's where a spiderling has shed its, its cuticle. But I'm not seeing clear evidence of spiderlings underneath. There's some that might be kind of deep in there. Okay. I'm going to set this guy aside. Sort of peel him, peel him away from all the gunk so I can throw out some dead bugs because nobody wants those. Yeah, the mess of the garbage outweighs the spider egg case. Okay, come on. I'm going to leave you alone. Got one more to look into. Okay. So now he's been isolated from all the mess. There's stuff in there. I just can't see any clear evidence of spiderlings. Okay. Incubator. We'll keep them warm for a while. See if that helps. Okay, next. This one is also just as horribly messy. Did something... What is moving there? Uh-oh. I don't think that's a spider. Oh, what is that? There it is. Oh, look at that. I have no idea what that thing is. Legs and spines and gunk all over and he's he's warmed up already and is ambling around. Well, I'll be throwing him out shortly. How dare he defile the purity of my spider collection here. Let's go to a little lower power. Okay, so there's our nice thing case. Let's do a little unboxing here. Open it up. Can 
I look inside and see vestiges of a mold. But no movement. See if I can get him in the field of view. Come on. I am especially klutzy today. Where'd he go? There he is. Let's just kind of peel away all this debris. It's getting in the way. Okay, that's good. They are so sticky. Okay, here go. A bunch of dead bugs. Let's get rid of that weird thing that was crawling around in there. Okay, we're back. Here's our egg case. It's kind of rolled around. Let's see if we can peel it open on the other side. I'm sure this is exciting for all the viewers out there. Watching me slowly tease apart a dirty wrinkled sack. So we have had a very hard winter this year, and I don't know whether they would be able to survive as cold as it got, and for as long as it was cold. I am just destroying the egg sack. Oh, there's that bug. No, we can't have him. I don't know whether he'd be spider food or... Or whether he would eat the spiders. Let me just sweep him out of here. Goodbye. Okay. Well, that's not particularly interesting yet. So what I'm going to have to do is just set these aside, put them into the incubator, let them warm up, See if there's anything in there that's going to complete development and come crawling out and contribute to my spider colony. Okay, well, that wasn't that much fun, but we'll see. Give them time. It's nice to see we're getting more spider egg cases nowadays. I swear I saw something. Well, we'll see. All kinds of creepy crawlies hanging around outside. All right, well, we'll just let it go there. Talk to you all later.